I want to share something with you guys. This is something that's super simple that has been a breakthrough for me. And as I talk to other people that have had major breakthroughs, as I talk to people who are making tremendous impacts in this world, you know, it's similar. Like we've all did this and you probably have done this too, but you're probably not conscious of it. And it's something we all can do right now today. And I want you to do it. You know, a lot of people live in there now, right? And that's great because we should be present in the moment. But what I mean by that, a lot of us, we stay in our pain, right? We accept it. We stay in the place where we feel like we're worth nothing. We stay, we let our circumstances dictate our faith. We let our circumstances dictate our life. We, we allow, we let how people treat us dictate how we feel about ourselves, right? And so if we're always staying there, we have no inspiration, no direction, no motivation to go to where we know we need to go, right? To become the person we need to become or unbecome the person that we're becoming. It depends where you're at in life. And I know for a fact that no matter your situation is not your current destination. No matter your current situation is not your final destination. I've been there. So I know how hard it is to 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 try to vision envision these things. When I look back on my path, and that was a major breakthrough for me. Now, I've had a lot of breakthroughs that I've shared over time. But something that stuck with me today was understanding where I wanted to be instead of accepting where I was at. And what I mean by that is just like this hike, right? It was hard. It's tough. I mean, you guys can see it. It's a straight incline for like two miles. It sucks. But what kept me going is understanding where I wanted to be. So the question that I want to ask you, have you ever had a conversation with the best you? Think about that for a second. Maria Trent, how does that work? Have you ever had a conversation with the person that you know deep down inside, not that only that you want to be, but that you need to be, not just for yourself, but for those who need you to be the best you? When I really changed my life, when I started to change my life, my biggest breakthrough when I was breaking down was I looked in the mirror and I had a conversation. I said, what does the greatest me look like? And I had a conversation with that person. And it might seem crazy, right? People might think that you're off by talking to yourself, by your future self. But I had a conversation with myself and I said, this is who you need to become. This is what you need to let go of. This is what you need to be around. This is what you need to learn. This is what you need to implement. And I pictured myself living my best life, living at the highest level of my life. You know, from how I am with my family to how I am with my company to how I am with myself to mastering my self-worth. And I know that word is is very like uh, complex when mastering. And it's just the word, just look at the word master. And we're all in a journey to keep mastering things. We never will be a master of something, but we continue to master certain steps in our life. And so I realized that my self-worth was, I didn't even know what I, I didn't even know it. I was letting external things determine my self-worth. And so I was letting people determine my self-worth. I was letting circumstances determine my self-worth. And so I had a conversation with future Trent Right. And I want you to write down what that person looks like. And I want you to have a conversation. So picture yourself a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, wherever you want to go out. Right. Let's start with a year. And if that person a year from now was talking to you. Right. The person a year from now living the best you that you can be. Right. Think about that. If that person was talking to you, what would that conversation be? What would that person tell you? Who would that person tell you to get around? Who would that person tell you to let go of? Right? It's like seeing yourself at the top of a mountain and that person, that future you has hiked the mountain and you're seeing yourself at the top and that future you is telling you the direction to how to get, to get up to the top. Right? It's saying, hey, let go of this. Take this path. Do more of this. Study more of this. You know, become more of this. Don't become less of this. And I have this conversation with myself very often. Now, this isn't an end-all, be-all. But it's a conversation I continue to have with myself. And it's something that when I talk to people who have major breakthroughs in their life, they have that same conversation. So what is that conversation going to be? What does that you look like a year from now? And I want you to have that conversation very often. And that conversation isn't always easy. That conversation isn't always uh, easy to accept. That conversation isn't always easy to understand, but it's a conversation that you need to have because a lot of us, we have conversations with people and there's nothing wrong with that. We need to have people in our life that pour into our life. But some of us are having the conversations with the wrong people. Some of us are having conversations that keep us in our pain. Some of us are having conversations that keep us from knowing how incredible we are. And we're having the conversation with the wrong people. We're surrounding our life 
with the wrong people and that's why we feel the way we feel we feel incapable we feel uh disabled we feel like we can't do anything and i want to tell you something you can do anything that you want to do that is in the will that god has for you i want you to understand that nobody can control how you feel about yourself without your permission understand that and that's facts it's facts nobody can control how you feel about yourself without your permission there's a greater you inside of you that you haven't even met yet and it's time for you to introduce yourself to your best you so today i want you to introduce yourself to your best you and i want you to become very familiar with that person right i want you to start dating that person <laughs> i want you to become very close with that person until you become that person because there's more in your life than what you're currently going through there's more to your life than what you're currently going through there's more to your life than your situation i want you to understand that than your current situation trust me i've been there i know how it feels to be at rock bottom and i know how it feels to rise from rock bottom i know how it feels to lose people from my life i know how it feels to have the right people come into my life all right and all that i did was i have and still do i had and i have and i will have conversations with the person that i want to become and I meet that person often, and that person is me. I had a conversation with that person up here, and I know that might seem crazy, but that is the direction towards your growth, right? It's like a lot of us, we're trying to go through these woods with no map, right? We're trying to go through these woods, trying to figure it out. In life, sometimes you have to get lost, right? Every path is not a straight path to the top. Every path is not perfect. But if you can have a conversation with someone that's been there, right? That's telling you. And what that means is that you have to start educating yourself. You have to start, uh, you know, fasting, praying, all these things to get more clarity on what you need in your life, what you need to let go in your life, where you need to go with your life. All right. So I wanted to share that with you. I know that might seem kind of crazy, but I promise you, this is a thing that I, I can name people that you guys know. Everybody that I know has did this in some type of way, right? It might be, they might say it differently, but they did it in this way. So have a conversation with your future self and continue to have conversation with your future self. And there's a you inside of you that you haven't even met yet. <laughs> and I know that might seem hard to believe right now because if somebody told me this when I was at my rock bottom, I would have been like, Trim, but you don't know what I'm going through. That's a victim mindset, that's a prison mindset. I need you to live in a power perspective and understand there's a you inside of you that you haven't even met yet. And if you're around people that don't, that don't bring, that doesn't try to push you to bring that out of you, get away from those people. You don't need those people in your life, all right? Let's get it.